we can heal and thrive. And both those things happen when we embody our authentic selves. And I wasn't doing that. I made a post earlier today about be you, meaning that what we're meant to do is move into who our authentic self. That's process we all move through. But I didn't do that. I was feeling it kind of last night too. And this morning I happened to watch um, an interview that I did a year ago on Alex Ferrari's channel, Next Level Soul. And it was just so full because it has all the information that I knew of what was going on in our world, what would be happening with many, many people. And I, I just hold back because my introverted self rarely talks about a lot of the things that I've done throughout my life. And because of that, I haven't put all of the work in my program because I know I have enough information, mindset, um, personal development, ascension. I have all of that that I could give any person that could completely transform their lives and then they would have it forever. But I didn't give it to you. And I know this because I started feeling a headache. I haven't done that in years. And when that comes up, I, I know that there's something else that's going on i pick up a folder and the it, that has a lot of wilhelm writings in there and the first one that comes up is about headaches and me not making the change that i knew i could make and knowing that spontaneous healing is available and that happens when we move over our resistance to that next level of who we're meant to become we evolve in our consciousness and those are different dimensions but we all do it in different ways um, it was challenging to tell people that everything that I've done came intuitively through all the work that I've done, and also that I'm a mystic or a sage or a prophet. That was the prophet thing was really challenging. See, because I know what the world could be, and that's what I want more. But then what I did was I left myself out. <laughs> I wasn't um, honoring me because when you honor yourself, then you heal. And you have abundance. You have all of that. And I made a mess of it because I didn't give everything. So I'm just telling you that's exactly what happened. So I'm changing that. This is why I said I know that I have to get to the place because um, I have a lot of things that are coming up now. And I've created kind of a mess in my life that I have to clean up. And um, this is why I'm making the changes. And this is why I said I'm only taking a few people into my program now because I need to finish all of it. I have only have I have so much work that I could put in there for people to really transform, moving through your trauma, finding your, and people ask, what is this work about? And I'll tell you, it's about you living a great life, as I've always said, but that great life happens when we move through all the resistance and the blockages and the things that have held us back. And it doesn't matter who you are, what, what how much you've done, or I'm 73, I've done so many other things, but I knew there was another level to move to. And that's why I was feeling that. And I'm telling you, I have done everything and I can give people everything. This is why so many people said to me years ago, I should have been charging so much more and all of that. But I that's self-sabotage. I'm not going to do that. The sabotage was that I didn't put in um, enough so that I could hire other people to do the things that I, I can't do, the technical things. I have to create content. I'm a visionary. I, I have all of this and I don't, I, I'm getting older. I don't need to keep doing this. I have to retire at some point, but my retirement is going to be just to write and put all this work together. But I'm telling you, you can accomplish anything. And if you're not doing that, it's just because you haven't been shown how, and I know this. And I am doing it. I'm going to give people more. Please check out my work too, because like, like I said, today, tomorrow, I'm only um, taking a few people tomorrow or something like that, but um, check it out. But I just want to tell you this. When you are not abundant, you're not owning yourself. When you're having physical difficulties, you're resisting something. That's generally what's going on. Now I can there may there are other um things that do come up, but the mind body connection that really will affect you. But also your abundance, you will you if you don't move into who you embrace, who you can become, who you have evolved to, because we all do that, then you start suffering in so many different ways. And that's what I was doing to myself. I don't want you to do that. And I'm so thrilled with the people who are in 
my program. They're doing so great, but I haven't given them all of it. So this is my goal. I'm going to create a program that's going to be valued at people would pay $5,000 for because it's going to have so much in there that you will never need to do anything else. I said that before. I said, that's why I'm calling it your last development program, because what happens is you work with it and your consciousness keeps evolving. You go back and you find something else, but now I'm going into relationships. I'm going into career, going to all of those things, finding your purpose, because that's the blockage you move through first to find that life purpose. Many people say they don't have one. You do. And you can hear people who have done this in the testimonials they're saying oh wow i didn't know it now i found it but i've done this for years it's been <laughs> at least three years now with this particular program and listening to alex's um video this morning was really shocking and i hope you listen to it because you will understand what's happening in the world because i knew this where everything is energy and we're going to move through this kind of disruption within ourselves because we're all affected the same way, but also in the world. And I also said that there would be much more in the United States. I've received all of this for the last several years. And my entire point when I first began even doing live channeling, I said, I just want people to understand what was happening. I didn't want people to be afraid and all of that and to doubt themselves. Because when you go through an ascension, ascension process yourself, you're opening to new areas. And so you're going to have fear. You're going to have doubt. All of that stuff. And if you listen to the to the uh, Alex's thing, he kept asking about that when Wilhelm was channeling and Alex kept asking, what about doubt? What about fear? All of that. And Wilhelm says, you're not you're not going to get rid of it. You just have to act on it. That's all of us. And I wasn't acting on it. I'm telling you, this is what happens. Now, I know a lot of people may not do my work, but if you do, you will be changed. And I'm going to give you everything that I have because there's so much of it. I just have to rearrange my time and stop hiding out. And that's a big one. Many of us do that. But mine was a little different because I couldn't. Um, when I do the, the story, because I'm going to do the full story and the Beyond Belief interview is going to come out as well. And so some of it's in there. But there's even far more than that. That interview was just, you know, 45 minutes or something like that. So everything couldn't be there. But the things that I have healed, created, done with this work will blow you away. That's why I'm giving it everyone, giving that to everyone in my program. And this is why I can say certain things. It's guaranteed you're going to change. And when I am meeting with someone, for instance, I can answer any question. And that's, again, is what Alex said. He says, I you, he said he'd worked with so many channelers, but I would answer it right away. That's because I'm that connected. And I think that's also what frightened me. But it's also what kept me away. Being introverted, I didn't want to have a lot of people coming to me. That's that's really what it was. There was another channel, uh, another um, organization that wanted me to come and do channeling with them. And I said, I'm supposed to do it for the collective. I'm supposed to finish this work because this work will help change our world. Just, I mean, I'm telling you, that's what will happen. I know that, you're not gonna see it now, but the way that people evolve and start to see themselves in a new way and let go of their anger and their judgment of themselves and of others and all the things that have held them back and the generational trauma, you will move through all of that. When that happens, then the world starts to change. I've been through enough that I knew I've seen changes in the world, but you know, this I came about this one differently because I received the information. When you, when we let go of the idea of time, linear time, we can kind of understand this a little bit more. I didn't know that years ago I was receiving all the information that would be useful now, but that's how it worked. And when you read probably the Wilhelm messages, you probably get a little bit of that, but it's all mindset. It's all um personal development self-actualization i've said always i've combined something that's so incredibly unique that's why i know it's so valuable because you do everything together i just haven't put it all in there and that's what i'm doing why i have to cut things off so i can get it finished that's the other thing that happened um in the message that i pulled up i'm going to read it to you <laughs> i think i still have it here it, it it's yeah, it, it, I, 
I might still have. I don't, I'll have to find it, or I'll find it and I'll put it in the um in the thing. But it said basically that I was distracting myself, and I knew that, and it was uh, and that was the thing that was causing the headaches. It was causing tension. Let's say you know that's what we do when we resist ourselves. Anyway, I'll put I'll find it and I'll put it in the description because I do want you to have it. So I want you to understand that your body will create things that you may not understand that it's probably something in your consciousness that you're resisting. Uh, the things that I've healed over my life, they people don't think are possible, but I know that they are. And that's what I'm going to give to everyone. Um, people, even my doctor didn't understand how I was able to do certain things. And that's what I'm going to give to everyone. You can change, you can heal, and you can thrive. And again, when you move through all that, they all come together. And that's what I'm going to do. So, don't hold yourself back. I have the other thing, and you may be like this too. I've always given everything to everyone else and I left myself out. I mean, that was my benevolent side. I want to help and all that. I've always been that person, but there's a balance that you have to find. And I didn't find that balance because I was so desperate to have everyone healed and everyone's not going to do that. Everyone's not going to do this work either. So I have to let go and you take care of yourself and then everything else will start to flourish and then you will heal and you will thrive. All right, see you soon.